what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is an update video for you guys very very excited we got news for the corvette as you guys know and have seen the corvette did go to hutter racing and get a tune refresh had to change both o2 sensors uh trevor did a real good job working on this car very pleased with my first experience at hutter racing uh, so everything worked out how it was supposed to. The only thing that did not work out is we only got to run the car from first to third gear. So we still got a lot more horsepower to get out on the dyno on this car, but we have that oil consumption issue going on uh, that Trevor just does not want to push the car further than what it needs to be pushed with that oil consumption issue going on. So the next step is for the dyno portion of getting this car going is the oil consumption issue. Uh, we got to fix a O2 sensor connector. Uh, as of right now, it's working, but it's an old wire. It's an old looking wire, I should say, and it looks pretty brittle. So he recommended changing that. He saw that when he was changing the driver's side O2 sensor. Uh, so that needs to be changed and an oil catch can needs to go on this car as well. So I'm waiting for Dusty over at Hutter Racing to give me a call back because uh, they are swamped right now with work and just no room in the shop to get the Corvette back in right now. So I'm waiting on a call for that uh, to get the Corvette back over to them so they can start on the oil consumption issue to see what's going on with it and why this thing is burning oil and spitting white smoke out the back on the dyno at around that 600 RPM when he lets off the throttle to bring it back down to idle. Uh, Next thing, guys, I did contact and get a hold of Mark at Action Auto Body. Uh, so you guys saw that video as well. And then the sm smaller video of putting on the American flag bullet antenna back here. So that's still on. Again, I went with that because of the commemorative edition stripes that will be going on this Corvette as soon as it gets done with this oil consumption issue and we get uh, the next steps of the paint correction done. So going back a little bit here again, back to the Action Auto Body, uh, we got our quote from them uh, around 1700 bucks for us to paint uh, those three to four panels that we talked about in that video. Uh, so that will be done as well. But the even before that, guys, I had to get in contact with Albert over at Block of Chip uh, because Mark advised me to go get this car paint corrected first uh, just to see what Albert at Block of Chip can do to this car to get it back to what it used to look like as much as possible before I have Mark go ahead and paint uh, the car. And again, you guys, like I said in that video, I'm not looking for a trophy paint job. I'm not looking for a uh, uh, museum-like finish where I'm going to have a judge right here up on the car like this looking for any type of imperfections or scratches or anything like that. I'm just looking for taking the car out, joy ride, take it to a car show. People walk up to it. Oh, yeah, wow, what a nice commemorative edition C5 Corvette. Oh, it's cams too. It's got some mods. It's got a wing. It looks real nice. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking to win a trophy with this car. You guys know I love this car. I drive the heck out of it. I love it. And it, it goes to work. So I'm not looking to keep this thing with five miles on it in pristine paint. Uh, so again, 1700s for the quote uh, for those three panels. Again, this mainly on this passenger side where we hydroplaned and hit uh, that guardrail. So emotional video if you haven't seen that. Uh, go and check that video out as well. I was kind of sitting right here and I talked for about a good 30 minutes about that whole situation. So if you're interested on that and how we got the car back to what it is right now, go ahead and check that video out as well. So those are my updates for you guys. As far as mods, uh, I did get a notification two days ago. So I'm very excited. We The side markers, the color match side markers, these are the stock ones right here. But I did get the blue color match. So these will be the... Uh, from vet lights, these will be the new LED. So we'll have one strip of LEDs right there, and this whole red part will be color matched blue. So I'm hoping these look really nice, but I did get a notification two days ago saying that those did get shipped out. They should be delivered tomorrow. 
uh, again from vet lights we also have some other vet light mods again I showed you guys as well so this is the third brake light and this these are the uh, uh, the front assembly light so the running lights so the third brake light this is the stock one here halogen that will be changed out as well and then we got our DRLs up here so one on this side here one on that side there this is the worser looking one the real foggy one it's got some water in it and oxidation it looks pretty bad so we did go with the se sequential uh, daytime running light housings as well so those are just plug and play we just got to bump take those old ones out of the bumper and get up underneath it pull those out put the new ones in um, another thing I'm still waiting on this. I'm waiting for the price to come down just a little bit, hopefully. Um, but seats, you guys know I do want to do uh, red seats in here as well. I'm looking at the Corbos. Hear a lot of good reviews about the Corbos for C5 Corvettes. Do have to get seat brackets and then flip flop them. So that's the news that I got after watching myself a couple YouTube videos. Guys flip flopping the passenger seat and the driver's seat because of the um lever the recline lever does not fit with the seat belt and the housing that's on the rear portion of the door there on the inside other than that guys uh the car is still here hibernating uh it'll come out of hibernation when albert uh gives me a call back to let me know what day we're going it should probably be about in about two weeks here so we'll be taking the car over to him in about two weeks to get paint corrected and then I will right after that, I'll be calling Mark to give him a kind of like a time frame or for him to give me a time frame on when I can get the Corvette over to him to get painted. Uh, after that, I do want to set up another appointment right back with Albert to go ahead and do the paint correction on everything that was just painted if it needs it. And then go ahead and do the stripes and PPF expel film. Because after you just get your car painted, you got to protect it. You don't want any more rock chips in your fresh new paint. Uh, you want to protect your asset. Uh, in this case, it's a car, so it's not really that much of an asset. Not really an asset at all, but it's your fun toy. You protect your investment and what you spend all your money on. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to hop on here, give you guys a good update. Last thing, almost forgot. Autorama. I am going Sunday. I know the first uh, date that it starts is tomorrow, Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday. I am going on Sunday. Uh, Friday, Saturday, just too busy of days for me. Wife works as well on some Saturdays, and this is a week that she's working uh, this Saturday, so I will not be there Friday or Saturday. I am only going on Sunday. So I will be in this, the YouTube hoodie. It's got the Moto AK-47 running down both sleeves. It's got the logo and YouTube subscribe, Instagram subscribe on the front and the back. I might be in this hat. I don't know. I'm not really a hat guy. I just throw it on for the YouTube videos, uh, especially when we're filming with the Corvette. Uh, but that's it, guys. Sunday, 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 Autorama. I hope to see you guys there. If you guys see me, stop by, say hello. Be kind, be nice. I'll be with my wife and my kid. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys Sunday.